I'm running alone. Don't stalk me. Hi, I'm Abby Reich. I am a survivor of sexual abuse. Just past my 18th birthday, I was date raped. That is how I lost my virginity. That's my beautiful story. I went back to my dorm room and didn't leave it for weeks. I ended up dropping out of that school and I was in a severe depression for months and months. One of the girls that I worked with um, took me to a concert. When it was time to leave the concert, I was like beyond inebriated. I, like slurring my words and like having a hard time. Thinking about it, going back through it, recovering my innocence, I realized that there's never ever a situation where it is the victim's fault because it doesn't matter what they're doing, it doesn't matter what they're wearing, it doesn't matter how drunk they are, um, doesn't matter what you do that puts yourself in the same room as a sexual abuser. It is still the abuser's decision to abuse and that is on no one's hands but the abusers. You can be the perfect person um, and still get raped. If someone rapes you, it is the rapist's fault, not yours. I wish someone had said that to me. I wish I had had someone that told me that wasn't my fault and that I should speak up. Good. You come here often? Uh, every Sunday. Okay, I come here every once in a while too. It's, it's not my seen. usual place, but. Please don't. Well, just, just, can we just. No, you need to stop. Stop. What? Don't touch what? me. Okay. I'm at a laundromat alone. Don't harass me. Come on. Stop it. Come on. No. We're in a relationship. I don't feel like it tonight. Don't force me. There are so many different scenarios where um, someone can be a victim of abuse, not just women, men as well. The only constant is that person that makes the bad decision to hurt someone else. Stop. Whoa. Okay, okay. Slow down a little bit. Okay. Okay, I said stop. Stop. I asked you to stop. Just because I'm in your bed doesn't mean you can push me. I've been around a lot of people who have this idea in their head through ignorance or whatever reason that the blame is partly on the abusee, on the person who gets hurt. In fact, Sexual assault is the only crime in this country where the victim has to prove their own innocence.
I'm passed out on your friend's couch. Don't touch me. I just met you, and I want to take things slowly. Don't rush me. We're dancing in a bar and I'm wearing a short skirt. Don't grope me. I've had a little too much to drink. Don't pressure me. Think about wrapping up soon? I'm walking home from school alone. Don't attack me. What? Wait, wait. No. Okay. Oh, I know you like it. Do you want to go now? No. I'm drunk. I've said no more than once. What makes you think this is okay? No. Don't rape me. They called me a slut and I was like the running joke. <laughs> I remember feeling like mortified. Oh my god, why did this happen to me? I was shocked. Blaming myself. It sets me 10 steps back every time I hear a person say that it was my fault. It's just scary to think how many women and girls have been in this same position and haven't said something or have been discouraged from saying something because 
they in some way or shape or form felt like it was their fault. It's never the victim's fault that no matter how well you wrap a package, it's still a thief's choice to steal. There are women that speak out about experiences that have happened to them and time and again, everyone tells them, well, it was your fault. You shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done that. No, can we stop telling girls that they shouldn't get raped and instead tell men to stop raping women? And if you're struggling with guilt, like, like every one of us do, it wasn't your fault. And you couldn't have done anything to prevent it. When your perfect little world is falling apart And you're too confused to Take it back to the start And a broken little world You find yourself in you Used to have a friend Who was supposed to listen I'm in your class. I was your roommate. I used to be your girlfriend. I am your daughter. We dated once. I am your friend. I'm someone you know, and I was assaulted. Don't blame me. I call myself a survivor, and that was an interesting word to me when I first heard it, because people don't survive this. But the reason that people don't survive it is not just the abuse itself, it's other people blaming them for their own abuse. The Facebook posts and the Twitters just blow up about how much of a whore they are, or how they shouldn't have been drunk at that party, or whatever it was. That, that's what causes people to kill themselves. That's why so many people don't survive. So you got drunk at a party and two people take advantage of you. That's not rape, you're just a loose, drunk slut. Put yourself in danger, that's horrible! I feel bad for the two young guys, May and Richmond. They did what most people would do in their situation. So most people just Rape women who fell asleep? Damn. The Steubenville story is all too familiar. Be responsible for your actions, ladies, before your drunken decisions ruin innocent lives. I'll stop tweeting about this when everyone STFU and understands Jane Doe is a whore. I'm not saying what they did is wrong, but it's not rape. It's the girl's fault. Hashtag don't drink. I don't rape girls when they're drunk. Are you sure? Yeah.